Rare Earths just took center stage in the US-China trade war. Again, in the latest deal, both countries agreed to dial back their most aggressive moves. But the unresolved tug of war over these invisible metals proves just how crucial they become for technology and security on both sides of the Pacific. So I know we talked about it in previous videos, but exactly what are rare earths? They're family of 17 metal elements you probably can't even name, but you're surrounded by them every single day. Talking about smartphones, wind turbines, missiles, EVs, even fighter jet engines, all depend on tiny amounts of these minerals. Despite the name, they're not that rare in nature, just tough and dirty to pull from the ground and refine. China dominates the space, controlling about 70% of global mining and 90% of processing. Earlier this year, Beijing started blocking license deliveries and tightened exports, squeezing US manufacturers and defense contractors. Panic spread from Detroit to Silicon Valley. If China pulled the plug, entire supply chains could go dark overnight. Now, after months of finger pointing and tariffs topping 145%, the new agreement brings a partial truce when we get into it. So China will pause new rare earth export curves for like a year and issue broad licenses for US companies. Three-digit tariffs are gone, but import duties are still higher than before the fight. Some port and export fees were actually cut, but this is only temporary. Also, the US tariffs on fentanyl linked products are actually rolled back too. So the bottom line, the supply chain is actually easing a bit, just in time for manufacturers and the Pentagon to breathe easier. But this is a pause button, it's not a solution. The US is still almost totally dependent on Beijing for the rare earths that power the modern economy. That's why these metals, hidden in plain sight, have gone from niche curiosity to the most strategic resource in the new Cold War.